I'm hosting the first ever North Country Drag Show, which is where I'm having some community members here in Berlin and Gorham, as well as some community members from Southern New Hampshire University drive all the way up here and dress in drag and perform lip singing as well as some stand-up comedy. I don't know that there have been any others in the North Country, but uh, this was for a charitable cause and I like the person putting it on, Reagan, so I kind of said, what the hell. <laughs> You're not real pretty, but you're mine. <laughs> this is, this is freaking awesome. I've actually lived all over the United States. I've actually had 50 addresses my whole life. I've lived in Seattle, I've been around. This is fun. I'm so glad to see something like this come. Yes, so my platform is the Gender Sexual Romantic Minority Advocacy. So basically I've spent my entire year developing some events and programs for my community to learn more about the LGBTQ community as well as develop some support systems for those who are LGBT right here in Gorham and Berlin. When I told people at work I was going to do this, I was going to be a drag king, they're like, why would you do that? I'm like, why won't you? In joking terms, we always say it's the gayest thing to hate Gorham, New Hampshire, but no, it's, uh, it's just it's not just a drag show. It's kind of showing that these kinds of people do exist, and we want to keep showing that and showing our support. We play war with the other boys to try and fit in, because if we didn't fit in, then our whole facade would fall apart. But when war became more about blood and shell casings and less about the picturesque battlefields we saw in our books, we turned to art, and to art was the one addictive drug that did nothing but good for us. Whenever I came out last last May, so it's only been um, it's only been a few months, but I've been steadily working to get a better transgender bathroom policy at my school so students can use the bathroom of their gender identity and slowly trying to start a gay straight alliance and get things rolling in that sense. And it's hard work because it's an old community and we don't really have any policies, but it's something that I am more than willing to continue doing. I had a, um, a student and it was obvious to me that she was gay. She tried to fit in, but it was obvious that she really didn't feel like she fed in, fit in. And I just always felt for her. Ten years ago, I was somewhere. And she came up to me and she said, I want to thank you for, for being supportive when I was so young. She said, I wasn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't even really know. She didn't know anybody who was gay or lesbian or, or anything. And she said, that just me being there and letting her know she was an okay person meant a lot. I think that we're really sheltered up here and there aren't a lot of different events that happen because we just don't think that LGBT people live in the North Country but that's just because not a lot of them have come out yet and they often will wait until they move to a different area to come out because they don't feel very welcomed here because we haven't done an event like this before and we haven't shown so much support before. I'm hoping that with things like this that will hopefully come every year, then more people are going to feel welcome here and they're going to want to stay here.